Now, when it comes to inappropriate conversations, the barbershop is the perfect place for all types of ratchetness. You'd be surprised because so much goes into the making of a conversation in the barbershop. There's a little hood, it's a little good, but you'd be surprised at the level of camaraderie that's shared amongst men inside of a barbershop. The level of trust and honesty for men to be able to open up and be honest about the things that affect them on their day-to-day lives. And that's paramount. <laughs> Clear! What's up, bro? What's happening, man? Yeah, hey, baby. Yeah, I'm all right, man. I need you to get to it, though. All right. Brian, what's up? Have you ever showed up at work and opened your laptop and you still had porn on it from jacking off earlier? <laughs> yeah, man. I was at home. Matter of fact, my son asked me to use my laptop for something, so I gave it to him. How about that <laughs> popped up like a Jehovah's Witness at a gas station? Early in the morning. Are you ready to die? I'm talking about when my wife heard that, she went what we call the f out. What did she say about you watching it though? To me, nothing. She didn't say nothing. Not to me. Why not? Because I had chewed my son out. I, I threw him under the bus. I had to teach him a thing or two about actual, like, taking one for the team. That reminds me of one time I picked up this chick from Snapchat. We pulled into the gas station to get gas, cigarettes, and some condoms, right? Okay, it's time to get retarded. Please don't get me started. All I do is turn up. My and my wife pulled up behind me. walked up to the girl, I gave her $5 and I pulled out and I gave her the cigarettes as well though. <laughs> Later on my wife asked me why I was a junkie pumping my gas and why she looked like a tramp. I told her, I don't know, she was probably mad because I bought the wrong cigarette. That? Hell yeah. Man, how about I was on Facebook last night looking at you? And how about I saw that you changed your relationship status to it's complicated and your Facebook name to God first. One woman, man, 100? Come on, man. For real. Well, I know not you, Claire. Not you. You too light skinned for that, Blair. Man, you seen that? Yeah, bro. I didn't know you be down like that, dog. Now, see? That's why it's important to remember, when you're done cleaning yourself off, clean your web browser too. And change your name to God First One Woman Man. Just further lets people know on Facebook that one, you either have relationship challenges, or two, you just got caught cheating. Either way, you messed up.